Evening all, welcome back to Space Engineers. So we're continuing our glazing project. We've got the contractors in and we're basically doing, um, we're using our lift, look at this freshly cut lift. It's not really a lift, but you know what I mean? It looks pretty cool. And um, we're now gonna finish, oh, <laughs> we're gonna repair the damage I did in a minute. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is looking pretty sweet and that'll do for now. Um, I think as well, we're gonna maybe kind of speculate on what's coming in this game. I think I'm really quite, <clears throat> excited to see what's going to come um, with it. I think, yeah, already it seems to be building quite a following on the uh, on the various social medias. It seems to be building. Oh, I've got the wrong way around again. It seems to be building quite a good um, buzz about it, which is really nice because, again, I think my biggest fear with this game was that it did actually get um, it got kind of very good, and then all of a sudden it was just a bit. Well, you know, no no one would really kind of play it. So I'm really pleased to see that many many people are playing it and it's actually quite um it's actually very reassuring so i'm quite excited about that i uh, i think it's going to be pretty awesome ah do you, you know what do you see the difference there you see that difference one was lighter one was darker aha i've cracked it finally um i i'm just terrible at computer games i really am i <laughs> just i takes me about three or four goes to figure it all out but uh so there we go look at that it's looking pretty sweet isn't it? it's looking pretty pretty awesome um, <clears throat> now we are going to have to test how robust this glazing is because to be honest with you it always seems a little bit kind of like one missile and you're done and I think because most of the time ships are only going to have one person on them so if I, if I come across me and I see that I'm actually piloting it through that chair the first thing I want to do is take out that top bit of glass and then just drop a couple of missiles in and kill the dude and then hey look I've got myself a new ship and that <laughs> that does feel like it might be it might be what they end up, you know, people end up doing. Um, oh, let's speculate about that because I have no idea how they're going to make PvP even a thing in this game. I just don't know. I don't think it's going to be easy. I don't think it's going to be, um, and not going to be easy at all, in fact. And I think, from what I know of current mechanics, the way that you'll assault a ship would be that you uh, you attack the ship, you then latch onto it, you then start fighting your way in. There'll be internal turrets that will then try and stop you. You will then probably kill the pilot, and you'll then have to force him to respawn. He'll then respawn at the medical bay, and then that, that medical bay is probably when, once you've destroyed that, he can't spawn on the ship anymore, and then you've got the ship, and it's yours. And maybe you then, I don't know, you can then... Pfft, build your own medical bay on it and then you fly for it i don't know but that feels like it's going to be the mechanics in which case that's going to be quite difficult because the best thing you could do would be to actually build your your medical bay behind a phenomenally armored wall you know multiple armored walls you know internal turrets the lot so that at least you and then with a cargo can filled with guns and ammo so when you die you get a gun again do you know what i mean i think that's going to probably be what it's like but i can see this turning into a little bit like rust where you know you'll be killed and then you'll respawn at your thing and all of a sudden you'll find that you're surrounded by 20 dozen blocks of heavy armor and then you've got to you've got to <laughs> you've got to actually kind of cut your way out i can see that happening i could see that honestly honestly happening and then that's going to be a nightmare to kind of combat um but yeah we'll see i don't know I think it's going to be fascinating. I think, yeah, the whole internal turret mechanic seems quite cool. Um, I do like the thought of that, and I'm really quite keen to see how that works. But again, this could be, this, this I think is more further stuff. I think this is further down the road content. I think for me, the biggest thing they need to do now is to give, make large turrets work and maybe make them automated and make it so that you can then join factions and then you can go and hunt dudes. Like in Star Made, you could actually go and enjoy a bigger universe than this feels. And you could then have stuff spawn, so it could be enemy pirate ship, and it comes to attack you. And all it does is it will just shoot missiles at you, and then the AI will say, I've run out of missiles, I'm leaving. And that's fine, it doesn't have to board you yet, do you know what I mean? But it gives the ships reasons to then fight each other. It gives you then the, the reason to actually arm your ship properly. Uh, because you know you may have to obviously build a stock of ammo you may have to build obviously you know weaponry feeds so the conveyor system probably is needed first you'd need to maybe sit the turret on top of a conveyor and then that conveyor sits right by the assembler so that when ammo is made you can then just drop it into that conveyor and then have a little sign that says two guns and then you put your ammo and your missiles in that and it just goes all the way to the missiles and the guns um, not gonna be easy 
not going to be easy in the slightest, but I think it's going to be very, very fun to work all that out. Already I'm quite excited. And there we go. Look at that. Our mighty conservatory of doom is done. And that looks pretty mediocre, I think you'll agree. <laughs> um, I loved it. I actually did enjoy building that. And I think still a little bit of work to do. Um, and I think, you know, we kind of need to figure out how we're going to, um, you know, finish off the lighting here. I think there's there's still quite a lot to be done just generally like for example we don't have any fighters anymore because well I, I let other people play on the map and they destroyed my fighters so <laughs> I need to go and build some more goddamn fighters so uh, yeah we'll have a look at that um, but I'm, I'm really liking the uh, the simple fact that you can just do whatever you want in this game let me give an example of this so here I said to myself I wanted a bridge that had a, a glow around it and you'll see how I do this in just a moment. But, but in essence, this is something I wanted to build into the game so that when I played the game, obviously this, this room has a very particular feeling to it. Um, and you'll see how we do that. So if I go to my screen here and I press K, I then bring up my, my control panel and then I can find the, the latest light. So that's them there. And what we can do is we can set the color of them to be something different. And then we can set the radius, the fall off, etc., intensity, etc. Um, now this might be a bit much, but you know, effectively you could do red alert, and then you could say, well, everything's now it's so serious it's gone to purple alert, and then you could do the old joke that Crichton made, which is, are you sure? That means we will have to change the bulb. So that would mean you have to come in here and change the bulb. <laughs> do like that. But there we go. So that's, I mean, that's a bit much, I know. But look at that. It's pretty sweet, isn't it? We haven't done enough of this yet. I think a lot of the game's um, best builds are made to look good by the lighting. And at the moment, we've been very, very frugal with lighting just because lighting is such an emotive thing. So we've got lights on the inside and outside, and they all need to go. I'm actually going to sit and grind them all off. And we're going to build proper lighting system for this map. It needs, you know, just proper colored lighting where you can work it out. Plus, I need to name them all as well because let's face it, um, this, with like 100 lights, you don't know which one is which. So it's a bit of a, that's a bit of a task. So you can see, look, we, there's even more lights than we think. So we're going to get rid of them all. And then we're just going to start again from scratch. But that's, that's another, another time. But look at that. If we set them to green, doesn't that look sweet? So everything's fine. It's the everything's okay alarm. <laughs> and it's all green. So we're looking good. <laughs> that actually looks pretty sweet. I'm quite impressed with that. Uh, that looks nice. Let's go and have a look what it looks like from the outside. So you know, as you see here, we can then see our green glow. And that's pretty nice. Now that's that's exactly why these additions to the game are so good. Because again, part of the fun is building something and then as more mechanics come in, you just change it over time. There is a real pleasure in doing that. I cannot stress how much of a pleasure there is in doing this. And you know, if you've never played games like this where you have contraptions and and mechanics and things, then I'd suggest you probably give the Tech It mod a go for Minecraft. That is the, if you're an engineer, if you're somebody who loves mechanisms, if you're somebody who loves kind of the um, the more complex, detailed and deep um, elements of gaming, I would just heartily recommend that because um, in essence, it's a whole technology addition to Minecraft. So it brings Minecraft from Stone Age into the, the Space Age, quite literally. And you, you can do so much with it. So I recommend that, it's called Tech It. Techit, T E W K I T. I'll probably try and include a link, but I, I always forget. So, yeah. Uh, so, there we go. So, I mean, as we finish our little project, I think we're looking pretty good. I've put the wrong glass on again. God almighty. Yep, I've done it again. Oh, God. I, as I watch this, I realize how, what I'm an idiot I am because I just did not understand how any of this glass works. Look at that. Wrong way around, you noob. Oh. So what I'm picking up from this is don't use any of the glass with arrows on it. But yeah, it seems to suggest that is the right way. But I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, so I think in terms of speculation, I think I'd love to see a little bit more kind of content in terms of the NPCs. I, I love the looting element of it. I, I really did enjoy, you know, for quite a while, just going and finding ships, looting them, you know, destroying them, setting up warheads on them and blowing them up. That was fun. And I think, yeah, I'm really quite keen to, to see what else. But I think I think a torpedo cruiser is needed. And this is going to be something we can test our wares on um, with uh, these NPCs. So we'll maybe do that. Maybe next time, maybe the one after that, we'll see. But uh, yeah, I think yeah, it's getting pretty interesting, the whole 
um, the whole mechanics and I think it's just drawing together to make a very good game so if you haven't dipped your toe in the space engineers pool yet now is possibly the time there's enough good mechanics in here to keep you going there's enough stuff to do and I think you'll have fun so there we go hope you enjoyed that we'll see you next time